that my first contact was even not so much with China but more with Hong Kong uh, because my father's family were based there. We would spend a lot of time uh, in Hong Kong at least visiting our, our families and our family and relatives there. And so I think that Hong Kong in many ways is a what you might call a, a, a China in diaspora. So it's China, but it's also a little bit different because it hasn't experienced the same kinds of um, uh, things that mainland China, that have defined modern uh, mainland China, such as the Cultural Revolution. I think that my upbringing was unusual in that, um, like most children of that time, and uh, certainly in Australia, I think that what had happened was that my father very much wanted his children to be Australian, and so. I think my mother really wanted us to be Chinese in influence and my father really wanted us to be Australian. So uh, I come from very much a um, kind of biracial household, if you like. On the one hand, these, this younger generation is given a voice, but I think what, what is also interesting to note about China right now is that the generation of artists who are mostly in their 50s right now, a lot of them left China uh, around in the lead up and around the time of 89. And they left for different art centers around the world, most likely Paris and, uh, Paris and New York, in fact. And what's really interesting about this is that there has been a huge return to the homeland. And many of these artists, even if they still continue to reside outside of China, have come to work at a high level with either business or government uh, policy figures to actually influence China. And so I would say that certainly that generation who are in their 50s now have come of age and they have a great deal of importance, important roles to play within society, within Chinese society. But what's interesting about the diaspora population is that they obviously bring to China a different set of values that has been changed by their living outside of China for over a decade now.